This is Twit. Five. Count them. Five bills. So the House Judiciary Committee. Remember the 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 tech CEOs coming and testifying. The, Zuckerberg and Dorsey. Jeff Bezos was on mute. Bezos uh, was Tim muted. Cook was dressed the same color as his drape, so that <laughs> like blend, Amy from just looked like a floating from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody <laughs> could see him. <laughs> uh, they all testified. This was part of a 16-month-long investigation by the Antitrust Committee of the House Judiciary Committee, and now on Friday, five bills introduced in the House as a result of this investigation. Now. The problem with saying that anything has been introduced, they're bipartisan, but the problem with saying anything's been introduced in Congress is the House is one thing, the Senate is completely another, and who knows if any of these have, have a chance different to different lobbyists, live. right? Totally different lobbyists. Totally different yeah. lobbyists. You don't know who's getting money from what. So uh, uh, Dave Cicilline, who is uh, the chairman of the committee, uh, said in a statement, our agenda will level the playing field and ensure the wealthiest, most powerful tech monopolies play by the same rules as the rest of us. I think that's a giveaway, that word wealthiest, because I think some of this punishment is because they're too successful, not because they're too powerful. I'd like to hear powerful be the first word, not the second word in that sentence. Do you remember the, when the testimony, though, like it started off with him saying we have to investigate whether these companies need to be broken up, and then nothing in the entire hearing had anything to do with breaking up the companies. It was mostly concern over competition about whether they were mean to partners and competitors from the Democrats, and then like suppression of conservative speech from the Republicans. And then at the end, he goes, oh, thank you all for coming. It is now evident we have to break up these companies. I mean, yeah. That's the thing. It's like there was zero conversation about breakup in no. that entire session. Well, and, and if anything, there were com com the, the, the agendas were completely different, but they all had the same goal, which is to spank these guys. Well, it's it's the yeah. Alice in Wonderland thing where it's first sentence, then trial. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so here are the five bills. Again, who knows? Uh, you know, some of them I think are not a bad thing. One empowers the Justice Department or the FTC. Two, this one is going to never pass. Break up tech firms by forcing them to sell off parts of their business that could create a conflict of interest. That's like YouTube from Google was the example. Yeah, that's really challenging because you approved these mergers. You said Facebook could right. buy Instagram. You said Facebook could buy WhatsApp. You said Google could buy YouTube. It was all approved. And now you're going to say, oh, yeah. Uh, take back. I think or that's they can't list them in search, right? That's the other re relief is that otherwise they can't list YouTube in Google. Search well, that's results, a different bill great for consumers. This is a bill yeah, that would sorry. bar companies. <laughs> it's hard. It's confusing because there's five of them. There's another bill would bar companies from giving their own services preference over their rivals. And of course, uh, Google got in trouble for shopping in the EU. Uh, I don't think yeah. it was ever successfully demonstrated that Google was favoring shopping. But and, and it looks like if you do a search, Google favors YouTube in its search results. Maybe. It's very hard to know and be even harder to enforce. But since Apple doesn't do search, uh, Twitter doesn't do search, Facebook, I don't know if Facebook favorites its own services in uh, search results. I think it's really they about... They all actually do. Like if you put a, vid like a video from an out-of-platform service into any post you make on that platform, whether like you put a YouTube video on Twitter, you put a Facebook video... In yeah, they're not going to favor it. They, they're going to down it. Well, they actually yeah. decelerate it. Like they will not yeah. show it to people no. because they don't want you leaving the platform. Yeah, they're doing their, uh, they're doing their business. Anyway, you could make that illegal. I think that's really the purpose of antitrust uh, and, and Congress in general is to force these companies to do something that may not be in their best interest, but it is in the national interest, is in society's interest. That's the point, right? That's what laws are yeah. about. You want to kill somebody, that might be in your interest, but it's not in our interest. We don't want to let you do that. Um, another bill would block companies like Facebook. This one, I think, has a better chance because it's, uh, it's looking ahead. It would block companies like Facebook from buying up nascent competitors so it's pretty clear from the testimony and the email and the discovery that facebook knew that instagram and whatsapp were going to be a threat to its business bought them they tried to buy snapchat for the same reason to keep them from being competitors so this would outlaw that that one i think as a leo if reasonable if only the government had some sort of mechanism whereby it I could know. improve purchases it, of companies by other companies already i can't believe we don't have that law it's all been defanged it's, we do but it's, it's all been defanged it's the federal law uh, well, closing the barn doors after the horses are yeah, impact of yeah. uh, 2021. Uh, but so, they're still approving those. Like literally this this year, they're still approving those deals. Here's one that is uncontroversial because it raises government fees. 
always a good thing. It's actually already passed the Senate, uh, Senator Klobuchar's bill that would boost merger filing fees. So if you're going to uh, uh, get a government approval for a merger, you have to pay filing fees. That Those fees would then go to having uh, more antitrust enforcers. So that's good, you know, uh, you know, fund the antitrust enforcement anyway. Uh, and then the the final bill would force platform. This is the one I, I think we need, but it, it's going to be challenging. And you you brought up something, uh, Renee, on this one. It would force platforms to make data interoperable, so you could go from one service to another. So if you had, you know, Google kind of does this with takeout, but the takeout formats, if unless the other service understands JSON. Um, aren't that easy to import. They're a lot easier to export. Yeah, but there's a bigger argument. I forget if it was Benedict Evans or Benedict... One of the Bens was bringing it up. Like, who owns... Like, if I like your Instagram picture, who owns that like? If I email your Gmail from my iCloud, who owns that email? Where's my expectation of privacy and your expectation of data uh, trans transportability? Yeah. I mean, can we agree on at least some fundamental stuff that I, for instance, should be able to move my Apple photos to Google photos well, or vice versa? Yeah, and as Casey Newton as you mentioned, pointed out this week, th it seems like the big tech companies already know that this is happening because they're already implementing these features. And I think that's, yeah, absolutely. You shouldn't say, oh, well, if you want to get your photos out of our service, you have to drag them out one by one. You've yeah. got to, there's got to be a button that yeah. you can say, I need to cancel and I want all my stuff back. Like yeah. that's, I think that's not an unreasonable thing. That, like that's an easy one. I would hope so. They did it for GDPR, right? Like they had to do the Apple. Yeah, data portability is part of, part of GDPR. GDPR. That's yeah. right, yeah. So they're, maybe they're already doing it. Yeah, the I'm not sure that I have solves with this any is that it's such an Icarus thing. Like they, they, these companies knew this stuff was coming for years, and everybody's pointed out. Jason's written about it. You know, Phil, everybody's written about this for years, and they were just flying closer and closer to the sun, saying those governments are too. You know, the EU might try this, the DOJ might try that, and they were fearless. They raced as far as they could to the line and showed no signs of slowing down. And I think if they'd done just a little bit better risk mitigation, uh, they could have stopped a lot of these problems in their tracks. And now they're doing the worst thing imaginable, which is allowing the most tech unsavvy, self interested, uh, easily bought off people in the world, the people who, while trying, again, like while trying to make a browser ballot to, to save Slepnir and Fenrir, Fenris, <laughs> they, they destroyed every web rendering engine that we had. Like everybody now uses some flavor of KHTML. That's how good they are with these laws. They're doing the same thing to everything else. So I, I wish these companies had been smarter five years ago or more prescient five years ago and yeah. been a little bit humble. Yeah, they're, they're, they're kind of not wired that way, are they? I, I think that they weren't paying attention for a long time, and then they also figured that they're so powerful and that they're so far ahead of law drafting, right? Like the, the any law that gets drafted is going to be playing, it's skating to where the puck is and not where it's going to be. And I think I think that that may still be true. I think that they're, they have some reason to have this confidence level that even these suggested laws... I'm not entirely sure a lot of them will do what they think it will do or solve the right. problems they think it will solve. I get, it's too bad that we get so cynical about uh, governance because it's kind of important, but yeah. it, it also you gets... Just want it it's, to be competent. Yeah, well, it's also very easy to say, you know, half of these are proposed just because they make good press releases they're with zero expectation that they'll ever become law. Well, the approving the mergers is the one that kills me. As, as like Phil said, exists. it's the, horse, the, the, the barn door is closed after the yeah. horse is gone. Like, what they're saying is all our existing enforcement is so corrupt or incompetent right. that we're going to... Do we, we have, have to, to spell it out for you yeah. as Congress? And the answer is yes, apparently you do uh, have to spell well, it out. Didn't they, with the AT&T uh, uh, Time Warner merger just like a few months ago, say, yeah, yeah we shouldn't have approved that That was one. a bad yeah. idea. Yeah. Boy, that <laughs> Boy, didn't did work. We? What were we thinking? The How guy big who approved that one should be fired. What, <laughs> it was me? Oh, man. <laughs> well, ironically, the uh, the uh, acquiring companies are suffering their own uh, pains. Sure. So. Sure, that's true. Everybody Verizon agrees. dumps all of the content that it bought because, the boy, that was a bad idea. Yeah, the market has spoken. One of the worst parts for me was, like, I watched all of that testimony, and you had people there spouting these cockamamie theories. Like, some of them were like, our, our speech is being suppressed when the top 10 articles on Facebook are, like, exactly about you and the things that you were complaining about. You have zero suppression going on there. But they argued that over and over again. And then, very briefly, every once in a while that veneer would fade and they would become like this, the sharpest, most sincere, most accurate, best attorney in the world and completely deflate one argument after another. And then they'd go back to their circus act. So it's not like they actually believe this stuff. They're doing all this theater to the detriment of actual regulation because they know it's better for their personal power when they're fully capable of actually reasonably and rationally prosecuting these things.